Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Buck Parker. I am a board certified general surgeon. And in this video, we're gonna talk about incisional hernias. So if you don't know what a hernia is, check out my other videos. I have uh, lots of videos on hernias and one on the definition of hernia. And you can uh, check out the definition there. But this one, we're gonna talk about specifically incisional hernias. So a hernia is, is basically an abnormal hole in the structure, okay? So this in this case, we're talking about the abdominal wall. and when you have surgery, okay, let's do a little anatomy first. We cut through the abdominal wall or multiple layers of the abdominal wall, okay? And most of the time when we're talking about hernias or incisional hernias, we're talking about the abdomen. Now, I guess you could get one maybe in the chest or something like that too. Um, and it's basically the same types of principles. So the strong layers of the abdomen or ch and or chest hold all the contents of our bellies inside, so the organs and things. And when we make an incision, say like we make a, you know, a, uh, incision around your belly button and we go in and maybe we fix some bowels or we take your appendix out or take your gallbladder out or something like that, we are cutting through the strong layer of the abdominal wall. And then the incisional hernia is later down the line if that incision does not heal, if the layer underneath, the strong layer underneath does not heal. And by the way, that's usually the anterior rectus sheath for you nerds out there. But the anterior rectus sheath does not heal uh, back together and that forms a little hole there, then you have an incisional hernia. So that is not from, you know, just being human is because you had a surgery and you had an incision there, so we call it an incisional hernia. So just like a regular hernia, there are a couple problems with incisional hernias, and that is if you have abdominal contents, go through that hole and get stuck. So the most common ones are the omentum. The omentum is like this big fat layer. It's almost like a drape. It's kind of gross, big fat drape. Would you wanna hang fat drapes on your in front of your window? Like, just roll them up, roll them down? Probably not. Anyway, <laughs> you have this fat drape that goes over the top of the bowels, and a lot of times that will get pushed up into the hole from the incision and get stuck, and that can cause pain, you know, maybe a little bit of bloating, uh, maybe there's some fevers and chills too, but typically it's just kind of painful and it swells. Uh, so that's not terribly, bad, but nobody wants pain, so you should probably get that fixed. Uh, the other problems are when the when the bowels go through, especially the small bowel, the small bowel can get obstructed. If it, if it sticks through that hole and it, it loops around and it sticks in there really bad, then that small bowel can get obstructed. And that can be a problem because then you can't eat. And everybody likes eating, I tell you what. Nobody likes to not eat. And I know this because I was on a TV show, Bear Grylls, called The Island, and I barely ate a damn thing for 28 days. We had basically like 100 calories a day. It was terrible. It was a great experience, and I suggest if you can go eating 100 calories a day for 28 days, you should do it because you'll appreciate every single morsel of food after that, but it was very tough and I'm not sure it's something you wanna do like in your daily life. Back to incisional hernias. So, what you wanna do for incisional hernia, unfortunately, when you have your appendix out or when you have your gallbladder out or you have another operation on your abdomen and you then have a hernia after that, you kind of need another surgery to fix that problem with the first surgery, which sucks. So this is why you wanna pay attention and follow the doctor's rules and orders after your appendix surgery, after your gallbladder surgery, after your hernia surgery, because you can have another hernia surgery for the hernia surgery, which is a bummer. Um, so you wanna pay attention to them. No lifting you know, much more than 20 pounds. I usually say two to four weeks, depending on who you are and what you do beforehand. And no increasing abdominal pressure, uh, things like that. So you wanna pay super good attention because you don't want uh, one surgery to turn into two. So how do you fix an incisional hernia? And basically it depends on the size of the incisional hernia. So if you have a little teeny one, it's like a couple centimeters, and uh, there's you know not a bunch of stuff getting stuff through that, then maybe it's a, a small couple sutures, 
and you know in and out surgery type of thing. Now, it's a, if it's a really big one and your you know abdominal wall doesn't connect anymore, uh, and they're very very. Uh, separated, that's a bigger surgery. That's more like what we call abdominal wall reconstruction where we have to kind of move the layers of your abdomen around a little bit and sometimes that requires mesh. And then there's the ones in between that are bigger than about three centimeters or so uh, that may, if you fix them just primarily, and by primarily I mean just with suture, just a little, you know, sewing like this. This is the universal sign for sewing like that. So if you just fix them with, with the suture and not a mesh then those are have a higher likelihood to come back depending on who you are so that's my spiel on incisional hernias i hope that helps you a little bit if you like this video well you should like the video then the little button the little thumbs up thing click that little thumbs up that'd be awesome uh maybe share it and subscribe to my channel if you would that'd be sweet and i'll see you in the next one take care